you know that you can have high cholesterol without any symptoms and that high LDL or bad cholesterol can have a big impact on your cardiovascular health? Dr. Salim Virani with the American Heart Association joins us to explain more. Doctor, thank you for being here. So explain what is LDL or bad cholesterol? So exactly as you said, LDL, you know, the way I talk to my patients is that uh, L for lousy. So that's LDL, bad cholesterol. HDL, age high, that's the good cholesterol. So LDL or bad cholesterol is what really gets inside the arteries. And as this cholesterol accumulates in the walls of the arteries, it leads to inflammation. And that is what then leads to acutely rupture of those plaques. And then that's what causes heart attacks. And of course, if it doesn't cause a heart attack, then it leads to gradual narrowing of the arteries. And then those, those narrowing of the arteries also lead to symptoms, whether that's in the heart, that's in the arteries that are supplying the brain, or it's in the arteries that are supplying the legs or any other organ of the body. Definitely want to avoid that. So why is it important to know your cholesterol numbers? Yeah, and, and I should point out, you know, September is a, a cholesterol awareness month. And, and and I should mention that American Heart Association actually did a survey where uh, a little over half of the patients actually did not know their uh, LDL or bad cholesterol numbers. So it's extremely important, first of all, for, for your listeners to, to understand that, uh, you know, they should get tested if they have not gotten their uh, bad cholesterol checked. And once you get that done, then you need to know what those numbers are because we are living at an age where we actually can treat those really, really well with both lifestyle as well as medications that are safe, they're efficacious, and we've studied them for a very, very long time now, and we know that those medications work. Okay, and it's a simple blood test, right? It's a simple blood test, and when you're doing it for the first time for to understand your 10-year risk of having a heart attack or stroke, uh, if you look at the last set of guidelines that the American Heart Association had, you don't even have to be fasting. So if someone finds they have high numbers, how can they lower their LDL? Yes, so there are, of course, things related to our lifestyle, and then there are medications that work as well. First of all, of course, diet and exercise are important uh, for anything uh, when it comes to cardiovascular health, you know, decreased risk of cancer, improving mental health. So diet and physical activity are important. But I think one important thing for your listeners to know is that if you have high levels of bad cholesterol, diet may not suffice. We have a lot of medications. The most common ones are of those that your healthcare professional or your clinician that you're receiving care from might prescribe is statin therapy. We know for more than 40 years now that those medications are safe, they work. And if you don't respond to that medication, then we have multiple other medications, four to five other classes of medications that can be used by, uh, by your healthcare professional when you're seeing them. And we know that these medications work. But remember, these medications only work if patients take those medications. So I would recommend that you get your cholesterol checked, know your numbers. If those are high, work on your lifestyle, but you will likely need a medication as well and discuss that medication and ask all the questions to the healthcare professional that you're working with. All great information. Dr. Varani, thank you so much. Thank you.